Hi, this is Arshan TV, and our topic for today is how to remove circulation pump. All right, so I'm planning to remove my circulation pump. So right now, first thing you need to know, or first thing you need to do, is make sure there's no power. If it's on like that, it's on, right? The oil burner is on. So this thing here will tell you, indicate you that there's power. So I'm gonna turn it off. So this area here is supposed to be no power anymore. All right, so it means that you got no power. So you're good to the next step. So the next step is you're gonna flash out, okay? Your heating water, because when you open that up, that's gonna make a lot of water spill. So you need to turn off everything all the water supply, like this one here, this from to your hot water, water supply. So turn up all of that. And then just turn up this up or go into your baseboard heating. Just turn up that thing too. So that's good to go, right? So open up. You need the hose and a bucket. All right. So we're going to. Start to fill that up and then throw it away. All right. So that is the second step. Remove all the hot water inside your boiler or oil furnace on that side because we're going to remove this area here. So while we're waiting until the bucket i'm gonna post this and continue finishing all this hot water coming out and then when i'm gonna start removing this one here all right that's the next move removing that one and then of course the electrical okay but for now i need to focus on this removing the hot water all right So, after I realized I've done something wrong, because before I'm trying to fill up a bucket, and it's not stopping, it's already like five of this five gallon bucket. And still, the water is still you know, overflowing. I mean, it's a lot of water. So, I just decided to get a garden hose and going outside. I think that's more easier if you want to do like that. All right? So, now the boiler is uh or the furnace is water water is flash out so i'm gonna start removing this one here okay all right now we're gonna start removing the circulation circulate circulation pump all right so i'm just gonna remind you guys i'm not a professional plumber all right i just have a regular job trying to do DIY to save some money okay so so it's supposed to be left to lose it so left is supposed to be <laughs> like that Not like that this. I think I will do like this here you go that's loose already let's go to the next one Here we go. Next. Next. Yeah. This one is rusty a little bit. I don't know, some sort of reason this is smaller. Here you 
go. One, last one. Why I'm doing this by myself? Because right now, everything is getting expensive right now. Ridiculously expensive. So by doing this by myself, I save it a little bit. I know I'm not professional, but I need to try to save a little bit of money somewhere. I know this kind of intimidated to, as the right word, got intimidated with doing this stuff, but <sighs> let's remove that thing. Now the next one, after remove all these bolts, is how we're gonna remove this thing because it look like it's so rusty right now. That is stuck down there. I think the boat so good for another use so <sighs> last one So, we need to remove this thing here. Let's see if we can just remove it by using our hands. Nope, this is stuck. We need to probably use some uh, pliers like this. Jingle it a little bit. stuck maybe I need to use some hammer let me get some hammer so got my hammer all right so I'm gonna try to fry it a little bit so this thing here you have no choice to replace it so it's not including with a if you buy this thing here, it's not included. Oh, uh, let me see. Maybe they have one inside. Damn. You hear there's a like, it's a hot water down there. Now I'm in trouble now. If I cannot fix this thing, I'm a big shit. <laughs> So, I'm videoing this so I have some idea next time I do this again. Alright? So, if I can do it, sometimes I forget already, you know. Good thing. I'm going to hit it underneath too. That's scary.
Ah, yeah. It's no joke. That's why you hire some people to do this for you. Get a good price it. As you can see, underneath, it's still attached. So all the water is still going to go outside. If they still have water left out there while I'm doing this to him. <sighs> it's no joke. There's the water coming up. There you go. This is up. Alright, put that thing down. Try to turn it. Here you go. That's what it looked like. It. Here you go. So we're gonna put this aside for now. All right, and then try to clean this up. All right, so I'm gonna put some gloves because it's too rusty. I have some cuts down there, see? So just for protection, I don't wanna be get like a rusty shit in my hands i know you're supposed to be doing this when the first you know messing with this thing here but get that thing try to remove this thing here pry it out <sighs> clean it up You have a rug, use it. Just clean it a little bit down here. I don't know why it's too dirty. Let me check underneath. Oh, look like good. Same thing. Too fucking dirty. Right. Yeah, that's good. So, now we clean that part. Um, the reason why I don't remove uh, this wiring yet. So when I'm going to get the new one, I'm going to copy what it looked like inside. Because like I said, I'm not a professional plumber. I'm just a regular Joe that trying to do a DIY here. All right. So we're going to get the new circulation pump. And then... Let's just see what's inside of it, okay? Hi, all right. So this is our new circulation pump, all right? So, I'm gonna open it up and see what's inside of this thing, what's included. So I bought this in Lowe's. But you can go to Home Depot if you want. I think it's more cheaper down there. Because I'm on the rush to buy these parts. Or you can buy in your uh, any plumbing supply. So this is the replacement. The serial number of this is. Oops. Zero, oh, zero, zero 007. That's F5. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry about my video. It sucks. Because uh, it's that iPhone, so <laughs> and it's an old cell phone too. All right, and I'm not earning any money in this YouTube. I'm doing this video, so it reminds me how to do it. All right, so they have like this. I think this is the washer. 
for down here all right we'll do it like that so you see you're gonna put it down there and this is the other ones for the other side and oops just put it back and then extraction sheet all right so this is what is inside in this box here construction sheet the new circulation pump all right and uh, two rubber washer all right so next thing we're going to do is uh probably the wiring all right i'm gonna move my camera again i'm gonna pause it and go back down there all right so like i said i didn't remove the wiring so i have some idea how to remove it all right like i said i'm not a professional plumber all right so i need to focus down here so you guys uh, you can see oops you can see what i'm doing so remove that screw down there put this thing down one time so that so we can see how they wire this thing so you can see down here from coming out from this one here white is to white this one here yellow is to yellow and this is probably what's this oh wait if this is yellow to yellow here and why this oh so from white going down there to the red one all right so let's check the other one what's it look like first before i start removing all this stuff here same thing the screw here the screw here let's see what's inside of this thing here so like I said I'm doing this video so I have some videos that how do I do this stuff so next time I do this I'm not gonna look for any videos with uh, you know somebody doing it because it's gonna be hard to compare your situation to other people's situation sometimes you know they're too good they're, they're doing things so we have green wire here oh look at this let's get the white one and the yellow one so one thing i need to remove is this two here this yellow one and the white one because this one here the other one is already connected down here sweet so i guess i need to unplug, remove that thing down there Let's go back again so it's not that hard to rewire it so I think and the only thing I need to remove is like I said this yellow one here remove the yellow one let's see what's inside and oh, that's easy to remove and then this one here sorry all right. All right. So that's it. And then, oops, let's put that aside. And then, how are we going to remove this one here? So, this one here, there's like a like a snapping connection down here just pull it back pull it back supposed to be just pull it back uh, I don't know if you can see it this there's, there's a snapping connection down here uh, 
So it's kind of hard to remove. Huh. Oh, I think I can figure it out. Oh, somebody's calling me. I can't answer the phone. What the heck is happening here? Why it won't back in or out? Sorry about the phone. Uh, let me see. I think it's coming out. I don't know what's happening here. Let me get something, some tools. Maybe I need a squeezer like this one here. Maybe. I guess I don't want to put my hand on that. Nope, it's not good. <laughs> this is the thing that if you're not professional, it's hard to, because those plumbers have uh, years of experience. That's what you're paying them. That's why they're charging your arm and a leg. But why I cannot remove this thing? supposed to be just snapping in and snap it out so what's wrong with it let me figure this out all right this is just put this aside for now let me check who the one that called me all right I'll be back all right so I'm going to try to remove this again. Like I said, this is not uh, the regular, what you call this, thing that, you know, something like this is screwed down there. It's more easier. But this one here, you need to push this uh, small tapping area down here. See, I don't know if you can see it properly. Here you go. And then it's squeezable. And you pinch that thing and pull it out. All right. And voila, all right. So we're gonna put this aside. All right, so our pump is, you see the arrow down there? See the arrow? So it's supposed to be, look like, when uh, remove this thing, it looked like that, okay? So I asked uh, my friend, Migs, that, uh, anyway, shout out to Migs. Thank you for the advice. So. This arrow going down back to the boiler. So it purposes, the cold water is going back to the boiler. Okay, because tendency, the hot water already, because it's hot, is tendency to go up anyway. All right, so this is purpose for the cold water to come back. All right, that's the arrow for. All right, that's what he told me. So like I said, I'm not a professional plumber. And anyway, thank you very much again for mix for advising me and the arrow is supposed to be going down okay if any professional down there and thinks i'm wrong please comment okay all right so we're gonna put this aside we don't need this old one all right so all right this is the new one all right, so we're gonna put this back, okay. Push it back, put this inside, and then pinch. Here you go, and clicks. That's good to go. So now, yellow to yellow, white to white. All right, so what we're gonna do is, Just put it together. Let me use my big tummy to do this thing. Here you go. Like I said, yellow to yellow and white to white. All right.
You see? Oh, so that's nice. So let's lock it down. All right. Now we're going to do the white wire now. I'll put this on again. Like I said, if there's a professional plumber watching this and you see something wrong or you can something advice, just message me. And I'm glad it appreciated. All right, so let's check it out. You know, it's really hard that doing something and then uh, be doing it at the same time. So. So that's tied up down there. Oops. It's good to go. Why is not uh, locking up? Let's see. Maybe. Like I said, this video is for educational purposes only, for people want to do DIY, and to remind me how I do this thing. Because like I said, I'm not professional, I keep forgetting stuff, and having some videos will remind me like how I do this. So next time I do this again, I have some ideas. Make it easier for me to do and figure out what they need to do next time. I think I need to replace this thing because it's not locking up. But anyway, I put this down. Let's get a new one. <sighs> replace this thing here and I'll be back, okay? All right, I'm back. So I got this old one and then we're gonna replace it with this one. It's not as big. It's a little bit bigger than the other one, but let's check it out. Maybe it will work. And if you're watching this, I just wanna thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching my videos. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It will help me a lot, especially, you know, so I can continue doing this video. Let's go back to this one. <laughs> so I can pull this. Let's see. Why is not locking up? I don't know. It's my technique is wrong. Maybe it's not. I don't know what's happening. That's what I tell you. This, this, what I'm doing right now is a learning experience here. Because, like I said before, it's like people want to save money, right? So, but. Saving money is one thing, and doing things is one thing too, by yourself. That's why those people, like I said, they study this, and, you know, they've been doing this for a while. They have, they have ex proper experience, not like me, doesn't know anything about this kind of stuff. I'm look pathetic with this thing here. So if you're watching this, just <laughs> fast forward this thing. 
Okay, just move to the next be next part that the video you want to be <laughs> because I'm taking my time to just doing this thing here. And I don't know what's wrong with this thing here. It's not holding. It's supposed to be gonna the thread is gonna hold on this thing here. For some some sort of reason this is not holding any of it. Let me get another one. Let me get another one. So the problem with these things here. I don't have a lot of these new ones. I have the regular ones. Because, you know. It's just the, the smallest. Still, not wrong. Huh. What the heck is happening here? I'm starting to feel like I'm the stupidest guy in the world. Let's see this one. God damn. This thing is killing me. What do I need to do? Alright, that works now. So, like I said, yellow to yellow. I don't know if you can see it. White to white. So, let's put that back. Put us in. So, they say that. Wait, let me close this thing first before I start talking again. <laughs> so, let's put it back. Let's make sure it's sealed. So you can see down there, there's like a, like a hook, like a casing, like a thread down there, and just push it down. Like that. So it's all close, down here, and down there. Let's put this back where it came from. It's too small. Let's put this down. Let's use the. What's this? Oh, this down. Yeah, doesn't matter. Just long seal. So, what do you say about this one here? You can use it like that, other side, or like that. Or like that but you can do it like this because of the wiring okay the wiring because if the water some drop down there you know of course it's gonna hit the water all right so you see the arrow down there right it's going up all right so like I said before they advise me or my friend advised me that it's supposed to be going down like that Okay, so what happened is this pump here gonna try to pump all the cold water back to the boiler. Alright, and what's gonna happen to the hot water? Because he said the way he explained it to me is the hot water is going up anyway. So that's what he explained to me. So I'm like I said, I'm not professional. <laughs> so I gotta put one in the washer, rubber washer. All right, and then one in the bottom. All right, so check again. The air is going down. Okay, and then see, that's the way it usually look like it. Anyway. So let's make sure it's back.
so look like that now so I'm gonna try to put um, wait I think the the was the longer one is in the bottom and uh, this one here i don't know why they make it like uh something like this why did you make it just round i don't know but you know so we just put it back so you're gonna do the bottom first, just hand tight for now. Sorry about my furnace, it's really old. I think this furnace is like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Like probably like twenty years old then. I'm not sure. Oh. Or more. It's really old. I think this need to be need to be replaced with a newer version. But if you replace something, this doesn't matter what it is, it cost you money. And I don't have money, so I got a lot of things to be paid off. So, uh, so that's why I'm doing this. Yeah, why? Because they said that this can cost me five hundred bucks to do this thing, and I believe that. You know why? Because this thing here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, wait, let me. Uh, the one that uh, really bulb here in the back, and then they replace this one here, I think, and the other one cost me already three hundred plus. So, and that really bulb is like probably I don't not sure like twenty bucks, and the. This one here is like them, like eight bucks probably, and the other one is eight bucks. And like I said, it cost me already like three hundred plus. Just replacing somebody replaced it to me, some professional. And yeah, it's really expensive. So. So this one is already like a hundred plus already. So imagine plus labor. So you choose. You pay or you do it yourself. So I DIY, right? And the good thing doing yourself anyway. So next time you have a problem like this, you have some idea. And the tools that you usually use it on, you have it already in your thing because wrench and then uh, what you call this? So that to do is supposed to be pretty tidy. So. He said that always do the bottom first. Thank you. 
and uh, I want to apologize if you know my video is boring <laughs> like I said I'm just doing this for myself but you know if I can share this knowledge to some people that they do this too so much as well and I'm not professional I'm just like a regular Joe that trying to do save some money as much as I can Especially right now, as everything's getting expensive. Let's stop that one first. And then let's do the other side. You ask me what I'm good at, I got nothing. I don't have no talent at all. I'm just, if there's no YouTube, thanks for the YouTube is I don't know anything so that's an advantage of the people that in this time right now everything you can watch on YouTube before oh crap we have a problem with the internet right so people that live, born in many ladies <laughs> that's why we experience You can see that. <sighs> I'm sure that thing is not gonna go farther because it's sliding down. I think it's good. They said you don't need to be too tight. So, I don't think I can learn from this one here, you know, what level of plumbing. Because plumbing is really hard if you don't have a lot of patience. Oh, that looks good, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna go around. We can tie it up a little bit more. Let me test it. But this on the top, let's hold it in. And anyways, um, I know that I realized that it's a lot of people that watching my video that, you know, it's not English sometimes. Thank you very much. And some video, some of my videos is really amateur videos only. So let's get. So now we can see we installed this thing already. We got the wiring in, not in. So what we're gonna do next is uh, try to to fill this up with water again. So I'm gonna close this back and then uh, try to put the water on. 
like that. All right. And let's see if there's any leakage. I'm going to open the, the main water. All right. I'll be back. So you can see down there, I got a leak. Water leakage down there. So I turn off all the water again. And I'm starting to mop it. Right there. So there's a leakage in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Shit. There's no leakage at the top, which is good. There's leakage in the bottom. Oh man. Now I'm fucking cleaning time now. I'm sorry about my words. <laughs> So what's happening now is I'm mopping the floor because it's spray out a lot of water. All right, you know what? Uh, let me post it again, and uh, I'm gonna finish the mopping because I need to get all this water because if I check this again and they still have leakage I need to do something about it but right now there's a lot of water here so I'm gonna post this thing and then I'm gonna continue again with it so we're gonna so we have a leakage down here so what we're gonna do is I'm not sure if we I'm just gonna tie it up more Let's try it up more. If not, I'm gonna change the change the what you call this the washer, the rubber washer of this thing. If it still is still looking. No more leak. This leak, I'm gonna need to change strategy of this one here. Okay, let's try it again. I'm gonna leave it running. Hopefully this time, no more leakage. I'm gonna open the water again, fill up the system. So I open the water. But I didn't turn on the the power for the well yet. Let's just uh, see if there's no more leakage. 
Let's turn this thing a little bit down like that. So look like oh shit this one there's more there's more ah this thing is giving me a headache all right so you can see it's a failure so uh I need to figure out something. Probably the washer, I don't know. So I need to remove again. Because this is not working. Because it's spilling too much water. All right, uh, I'm gonna remove it again. Um, God damn, probably. Um, All right, so there's a leak on the in the left side bottom this left side um, whatever you're facing so so I'm facing right now in front of it so it's left side and then uh, I think the washer is the issue so I'm gonna replace it with this one here with the original one because I used the the one that it came from the box, the black one, and I think it's too tight already. And still, it's leak. no leakage in the in the top, but I'm not gonna assemble it. No, now I'm gonna take it up. There you go. Got to lose it again. So this side here, there you go. So I got no leakage in uh, on the top, no leakage in the uh, bottom right, but I got a lot of leakage in the left side, bottom. I need to fix this properly because if I don't fix this, nobody can take a shower. So. And no shower. I'm freaking in trouble. So probably I think I need to put this nut. So, okay, just make sure it's the electricity. So. That's one of the reasons why I don't understand why they make this thing look like that. Like up and down here. 
Okay, I'm gonna make it circular so there's more force. In life, you cannot have like always perfect. Uh, always make a mistake to learn something new, or because you're not doing it professionally, you appreciate more the people that are doing this thing. And that's why they get paid the big bucks, right? So you don't experience any of this kind of hassle doing these kind of things. Same thing when you're fixing cars and stuff like that. If you're not doing it every day, like those guys, like, you know, they've been doing that every freaking day. Because that's their job. Alright, so... I'm hoping it's not stuck. Okay, good. Ah, let's see what's happening here. That's why. See? It bent. This is the problem. The thing is bent worked on here when I'm putting it so I put it the wrong way. Maybe let's try it again. Huh? But this time let's it's hard. You know what? What we can do is because it's warping here in the bottom. So let's see this one here. Maybe we can add this thing here in the bottom and the top. Just to, because they're not totally fit down here anyway. So luckily I have this. I always buy extra of this thing here, just in case something happened. So let's see. One on the top. Just comment if they're doing something stupid or what. <laughs> but I'm trying my best that there's no leak. Like I said, I'm not professional. It's my first time doing this by myself. I usually get somebody. To help me to do this stuff, kind of stuff, because, like I said, I'm not very handy person, but right now I'm we're really short of money right now. So, but of course, at the same time, we need heating. I'm gonna do this. Okay, let's try it. Maybe I'll do it the top first.
Sorry about my words. And I'm suffering right now. Just doing this shit. So. Wipe it a little bit. <laughs> so let's comment if I'm doing it wrong because I put the two things together. <sighs> but like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not gonna hire myself to become a plumber. <laughs> so let's do the bottom. But this time gonna put it like this like this the washer is gonna help to push it in more tight for now Damn, the washer's not feeding it properly I think this will work. Like I said, do not judge me while I'm doing this thing. Just trying to save money, okay? I'm not gonna advise you to do this thing, the same thing I'm doing. Get a professional. If you're not 100% or you're not confident enough, confident is one thing. Making a mistake. Is learning from your mistakes is can be good, can be bad. You can be discouraged what I'm doing right now, or you can be motivated and expect for the worst. Negative is not always bad. Because in life, you're always going to fall, but you need to learn from that mistakes. So... See in the back, but I'm gonna try to um, hold. Let's let's focus on this one first. Yeah, we're gonna tighten it up.
like they say here, making mistakes, you can learn from bad things and learn from good things. Not supposed to be too tight. So if this doesn't work again, so probably stop the video because you know what's going to be ending of this thing here, right? It works, it works. Just right now, I'm tired already. Probably I've been doing this for two hours and probably three hours now. I'm posting it every time I have a chance because... Uh, I don't want you guys to be watching three hour video. This time will be no leak. All right. So, like I said, and let I don't know what this is. Uh, I think I just open it close now. Then I open the water little by little, and let's test it. Slightly open it. I'm gonna close the the bottom faucet and let's see. Now it's filling up right now, and uh, I hope everything will be fine. So if you're doing this circulation pump, it's gonna be a lot of work. And cleaning because of all this mess here up there I'm done. So right now I don't see any leakage. Which is good. But it's not totally on yet. All the way. So I'm gonna let it be for now. When it's fully filled with water, I'm gonna open I don't know if you can hear it and there's like you know it's still peeling up but earlier without this uh, rubber gasket down here it's starting to liquid 
So right now it's holding up, which is good. Like I said, this is a learning process. So whatever mistakes I've done from right now, I'm hoping I'm not going to do it again next time I do this. So this is a good video for me. I'm not telling for everyone going to be liking it. <laughs> so. But right now, I don't see any leakage, which is really good. Make sure there's nothing here, nothing there. Look, that is it. holding up really good right now. So what do you say? Comment and subscribe. This is Arjun TV. And thank you very much for watching my video. And thank you very much for being patient. All right. And I'm going to sign out. Thank you very much again for watching. So I hope you like my videos. Bye-bye.